the circumstances that we find ourselves in might be such that we've given up hope of ever making it out of that situation. You must have given up, but just hold on, it's not yet over. Right now, it's hard to believe that everything will be fine and your tomorrow will be better. But the words of the Lord are yea and amen. Whatever He says, He brings it to pass. The Bible made us understand in Psalms 30 verse 5, for his anger is but for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime, or in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Beloved, your tomorrow will be better, because the season of your weeping is over, and God is ushering you into your new season of joy. Though the challenges that life throws at you right now feel as though you'll not see the light of dawn. But I promise you, you will see it. This problem will not be the end of you. You will overcome it and leave to see the goodness of God in your life. God did not promise us that life on earth was going to be easy. But if you still look up to Him without giving up, it's going to be worth it. Your life is a process, and gradually, you'll get to the point where God has been preparing you for. You will have moments in life where it'll be hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. The devil will blind your eyes with frustration and make it so hard to believe that everything can be bright and calm if you pull through this stage. During this stage, I want you to remember that everything is working out for your good. Your life is going through an important stage and the Lord will break and mold you into the person He wants you to be. Right now, it is painful because of all the hardship you're in. Sometimes you might even look at people's lives around you and wonder why yours is different. Beloved, you must understand that God did not call us all to be the same. He is a God of variety, and to each of us, there is a mandate over our lives that we must fulfill. Your process might be hard because your tomorrow is brighter, so never look at other people's lives and feel you're not loved by the Father. Some of us look at the promises of God in the Bible for us and feel bad because they're not coming to pass in our lives. Beloved, they are coming to pass. You're just not patient to wait for it. The promises of God are different types, there are the ones that happen the moment God makes it to you, and there are others that happen in the future. Most times, promises don't immediately come true. They happen sometime in the future. Your tomorrow will be better because all the promises God has given and shown you will come to pass. Our biggest challenge is waiting for the promise of God to be fulfilled. The waiting period is hard because it feels like this cup will not pass over you. We want what God has promised to happen now. It might not, but just like the way Christmas is sure to come, so is the promises of God sure to happen in your life. Your tomorrow will be better, and you will testify that yes, the promises of God are yes and amen. In your tomorrow, you will understand how God brought good out of something that was completely damaged. In your tomorrow, you will be full of thanksgiving because God proved Himself in your life by making a way for you where there was no way. We don't believe that our tomorrow will be better because we're busy asking, Why me, Lord? And God is saying yes to you because the plans I have for you are of good and not of evil, to give you hope and a future. Your tomorrow is secured in the hands of the Master, and He will never disappoint you. There are many promises in the Bible that gives us strength as we wait for the Lord to bring us to the tomorrow He is preparing for us. It's just because you don't study the Word of God. That's why you give up at the verge of your breakthrough. Beloved, you need strength to walk through this stage. Begin to study the Word of God and it will become easy to walk into your tomorrow. 
your tomorrow is going to be better. All the tears you cry today, you will cry no more, and your days will be happier. Apostle Paul, speaking in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 17-18, to 18, says, So we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart on us, on the inside, where God is making new life, not a day goes by without His unfolding grace. These hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times, the lavish celebration prepared for us. There's far more here than meets the eye. The things we see now are here today, gone tomorrow. But the things we can't see now will last forever. No matter what you're going through now, it's all going to be over and your tomorrow will be better. Though it looks like you're falling apart on the outside, you'll have more strength on the inside than you can imagine, and God will see you through. What you're facing now is nowhere close to the life God has for you in your tomorrow. Lift your head and face every challenge that comes your way today. It's only a matter of time before you begin to sing your new song of victory. God is making a new life for you and shifting you from one level of grace to another. This time around, the devil and his agent, who he said, you will not make it in life, will stand defeated, and you will wear the goodness of God. Your tomorrow will be better than today and yesterday. You will experience abundance in your life, and everything you touch, God will make it prosper. God will supply all your needs according to His riches in glory, and you that is suffering now will become the person that the world borrows from. Now, because the Lord has promised that your tomorrow will be better, doesn't mean you should stop trying to do anything useful with your life. While you're waiting to do something that the Lord will use to usher you into that better tomorrow, the Bible speaking says, the Lord will bless the works of your hands. So if your hands are found idle, what do you want the Lord to bless? Begin to do something with yourself and learn everything that the Lord wants you to learn. Become the best version of yourself in that difficult situation, and your tomorrow will be better. Do everything within your power to pay the price for a better tomorrow, and with the Lord on your side, your tomorrow will be better. Some of us are facing disappointment here and there, and it seems anywhere we go, disappointment is the only thing we get. Beloved, don't give up. Keep on pushing, because your tomorrow will be better. Don't give up on God, because He will never give up on you. Don't give up. Let Him perfect all that He has started in your life, so that the world will see the finished work of God in your life. God is already at work in your life, perfecting all that concerns you, even though you don't feel it. Though it feels like the Lord is far, always know that He is near you, and He will not let you walk through this period alone. Your tomorrow will be better. It's not just a statement, but a fact as to what the Lord has in store for you. He will make every crooked path straight, and He will open doors of opportunities for you like never before. You might be struggling with a particular problem for so long, and you've completely given up on it. Still, don't worry. God will fix it for you. That problem will not follow you into the tomorrow that God promised you. Some of us might be asking, when will this tomorrow come? The answer I have for you is sooner than you expect. But make sure you don't complain as you wait on the Lord to bring His words to pass in your life. The children of Israelites spent 40 years getting to the Promised Land. For a journey that would have taken a shorter time, but because of disobedience to God and complaint, it took longer. Beloved, your tomorrow is just by the corner. But if you decide to be disobedient to the Word of God and complain as you wait, I don't know how long you'll have to wait before your tomorrow comes. 
God is going to do for you what he says he will do, and no one or nothing can ever change his mind about you. I pray for you today that the Lord give you the grace not to give up on him. As you walk through the process, may he give you the strength to keep on pushing to your better tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. Remain blessed.